been a couple days since we started the eggs and incubator. It's going good. We've been consistently keeping the humidity um, between 40 and 50 percent. Um, this morning it dropped down to 35 percent, but I think it's just because it got a little cold last night. But um, I have to say, I'm actually really liking the uh, egg turner that came in this model. It's different from your conventional egg turner. So this egg turner, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can, I don't know if you can see it. it's a little dark in there. But there is a black sheet, a very thin black sheet that has slots in it, horizontal slots cut into it. And basically the eggs sit in it on their sides in those slots and the whole sheet moves forward and back. And it basically does a full rotation in both directions for the eggs, which is more closely um, mimicking the natural incubation process when a mother hen sits on the eggs. The eggs are sitting on their side and they turn and rotate. So I'm excited to see how our hatch rate improves with this incubator. You guys have such big brains, yet you sit there instead of in there like wellington the gates open you can go in buddy there you go come on you can figure it out wellington no you're just gonna stand at the fence there you go daddy's gonna encourage you daddy's gonna encourage you wellington there you go go get some food <laughs> all right okay we're gonna all right buddy want to help me get the get the horses fed you still struggling with getting the whole scoop bud i got one time <laughs> i just missed it's okay you figure out your way of doing things i like this hat thank you pretty cool hat it's my Pokemon. conductor's hat oh it's your conductor's hat it's a pokemon hat conductors you love you love pokemon Yes. Yeah. Here. Here's Luke's. Uh, I get it. Pokemon. So we have our horses on a loose mineral supplement, and then we've also got Luke on Actiflex, which is a joint supplement, given that he's getting up there in age. But um, I'll leave a link down below to um, Animal Source Mineral. It, it or Animal Trace Mineral. That's what it's called. Animal Trace Mineral. It's a little bit more pricey, but given how, depending on how many horses you have it'll last you like my mom actually took half of the barrel half of the bucket it comes in a five gallon bucket and i believe it's like between 200 and 300 dollars but it comes in that huge five gallon bucket and you only have to give them like it comes with a little tiny scoop if i can get the scoop so it comes in this little tiny scoop and depending on the size of the horse you do have to give them um like a a low dose which seems like a lot, but you only give it to them for, I can't remember if it's two or three weeks straight. And then you get them on a maintenance dose, which for Luke, he's only getting that much every day. And we've been using this since I think middle of last year. Mind you, like I said, my mom took like half of this bucket for her own herd. We still have this much left. Like it's, it comes up to here. We still got quite a bit left, so. It definitely lasts. All right, Leon, you want to get lit? Got want to get Hannah's food? What are you doing out here? Oh, they're getting into stuff. <laughs> All right, Leon, go ahead and get Hannah's food. Come on, buddy. Get Hannah's food. Where? Is, didn't you say you saw Hannah, babe? Huh? You saw Hannah? Yeah, but uh. Did she run all the way to the back? No. Well, Oops. yeah, but not not on her own. Luke. Yep. Why are you such a jerk when it comes to food? Look at look at him. Look at him. He's he's like who? Me? Not me. I'm not a jerk to the other horses when it comes to food. No, I'm a sweet angel. You're a jerk. He really There's is. You. He is so mean to the other horses whenever it comes to food. Our appointment's at 11:30. We are on a time crunch. Hi, Luke. See, look at those. Look at that mean face. He's all talk to, to humans, though. He won't do nothing. He's like, ah, grr, ar. I'm intimidating. You ain't fooling nobody, big boy. How are you looking? Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that butt. All right. Do you need help, bud? I'm going to go help him just in case. You never know. 
because Miss Skye is also head honcho of the herd with her heart eyes. Hi, Sky. Okay, Leon, I need you. Can you please go and turn the poultry net off so we can get Mocha and Sophie put up in there? Still no baby goats from Mocha. She drives me crazy. So, but I'm like, I can't take her out to the pasture because the second I take her out to the pasture and leave her there, I'll go out there the following morning and there'll be kids in the ground. So, oh, is Axel getting some lovin's? Axel, you living the life, bud. Yeah. Oh, chain scratches. He's in a pretty good bowl. That's a good boy. He has remained docile, so as long as he remains docile, he will remain on the farm. You hear that, bud? Stay good. And you can stay here. All right? We like you. Annabelle. Snake or rabbits? That's, that's Being really narrow. Straight down like that, I'm, that's, I'm not really too sure. Because snakes build at angles, so yeah. do rabbits. Yeah. That's very weird. Oh, look at you, babe. You got him separated. I told you. <laughs> Don't put them all in there. Well, I was, I was like, do we want to? Is that they're gonna want to come in after the food? So, but you, 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 you pulled him out with the food, and he stayed because he hasn't quite figured out the, uh, the trick yet. No, because he wasn't allowed to leave. <laughs> Mocha. You want to just carry Sophie over the fence, Leon? Okay, yeah, he's already got the fence off. No, it's not raining. Hold on, Mocha, here, I'll lead you. Can you step down, honey? Take your time. You got it? Oh, 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 locked up. It's okay, honey, we're not in a hurry. There you go, take your time. <laughs> she hops down and she front paints. <laughs> Here you go. Here, baby, you want to you want to lift that that right there? She'll 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 she'll, she'll go under it if we show her. Here you go, Mocha. There you go. There you go, but guys, you guys miss being out here. It's nice being out here, isn't it? No, Leon, don't put the hat on her. She doesn't want the hat. Oh, I'll bet they're so happy to be back out here. Leon, come here. Come step on this. All right. Okay, so goats are set up now. All the way down. Now, now it now comes the fun part. Catching Wellington. Should be entertaining. Alright, so um here's the little green halter. Or wait, no, actually there was a found what's his face's halter. Chewy's. Chewy's old halter. This will fit him better. Here we go. Here is a halter for him. This was a uh, miniature pony halter because Annabelle's halter is just a tad bit too big. Mm. Hi, Wellington. Just let us catch you, buddy. It's gonna be Wellington. Okay. Come here. Okay. You go. You almost got him. Here, let me try. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, that works. Annabelle. Let's get her loaded up in the trailer. You got a sunflower seed on your back, Mama. Okay. Wellington. Oh. <laughs> Wellington, you poor pitiful thing. It's okay. It's okay. See, see Annabelle loaded up. Oh, girl. Come on. Come oh, on. You can You're almost so do close. it. I know. I know this. Oh, <laughs> 
This is a tall trailer for her. Poor uh, honey. Are we tying her up, I guess? Yeah, yeah, definitely tie her up. It's her big belly, we don't need her rolling around. Yeah, no. All right, Wellington, it's okay, buddy. I know, I know, you'll figure it out. It's a process, it's a process. It's okay, honey. I know. Come on. If you want to, what we can do is we can tie him right there, a little loose, and he'll want to move away from us. So if we move him up, he might get in the trailer. So just tie him with enough slack. Maybe even on the inside of the trailer, so he's already tied when we get him loaded. You think we got enough slack? Here, I'll tie it up in there. Yeah, I'm not that old. I can't. You can't really. Right here. Yeah. Go around. Here, up. Oh, he's coming in. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Good boy. All right, now I'll retie him. I just shortened him up, so. All right, hold on, babies. I hear your goats. I hear your goats. I'm gonna get you some water. There we go. How do they have water? Leon, did you turn the water, the fence on yet? Yes. Oh, shoot. Baby. Leon turned the fence on and you have long arms. Would you, would you lower water down for Sophie and Mocha? There you go, babies. Now you got water. Enjoy. Well, Hannah knocked your bucket off, and now Sky, who does not need grain because she is super low maintenance and is sensitive to protein, is eating it. Bad. Go on, Sky. Get out of it. Shh. Get. That is not yours, ma'am. Rude. No. No. That's not yours. You're already fat enough, chunkers. See that butt? That's a fat butt. She doesn't get any grain. She gets hay and grass, and it is plenty for her. All right, that was my little morning, early morning cardio. Cardio. Oh, lose the sass. You are such sass. Stop it. Let Sky have your yeah, right? No, you can't complain. You knocked your bucket off and gave it to Sky. Turd. Everybody's just giving offerings to Sky today, apparently. Mama, yes? I see if I can fly? You're gonna see if you can fly? Uh-huh. All right, I'm watching. Let's see. All right, Daddy, Leon thinks he can fly. <laughs> that didn't go as well as you thought it would, did it? Oh, you okay, buddy? You ran into my hand. <laughs> Baby, no, you didn't crack your skull. You cracked, you hit my ring. You just heard the sound of it hitting the ring. <laughs> he he got, went to go get up and he hit my ring. And he's like, did it crack? Like, he was more worried about my ring. Huh? Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah. 1017, I don't know how far away this guy's house is. It's not that far. We're, we're, I expected it to take longer, so well, we didn't know how long it would take. We want to take care of everybody else, too. Yeah, we can go ahead and take care of the other animals. There you go, buddy. You found the hay? I did spook him by dropping that feed pail. will <laughs> be all right. Hi, honey. Oh, I hear my phone ringing. Oh, yeah. Get the, uh food for the cows. Well, actually, no, I don't want to get the food for the cows because y'all piggies will eat it before Annabelle and Wellington get back. So, no, y'all can wait till we get back. Go eat hay. So, something actually that you should know about cows when feeding them grain. 
You never want to feed cows grain on an empty stomach. Cows are what's called ruminants, and their, the way that their stomachs, which is called their rumens, well they have multiple stomachs, but we're gonna talk about the rumen. The rumen is designed to digest hays and grasses. They are not designed technically to eat grain, but because of uh, conventional breeding, they have bred out, they, they've bred them to where they're such high capacity, they require extra nutrients that certain areas grass cannot provide. So unfortunately for us, while during the rest of the year, grass here is great in the winter time, it's not so great and we end up having to uh, supplement things to them to make sure that their condition is keeping up with it. So we are giving grains to our cows and the way that you do that is you have to make sure that they have had access to hay or grass. It helps for us because our cows are out on grass all day long and all night long so they're grazing they've got free choice hay so they're getting hay but if a cow is kept in a stall and they don't have hay and you give them grain before they won't digest that grain i don't remember the science behind it but they need that hay in order for their body to digest and absorb the grain otherwise the grain will just pass through their system and they won't be able to digest it or use those nutrients so hey your cows before you feed them grain. Isn't that right, Brutus? Say, I need the hay before I have the green. <laughs> Axel, you handsome boy, you. Yes. Brutus, you wouldn't know that these two are brothers. He is the older half-brother to him. But look at this, look at the height difference. Brutus, you're taller than him. That actually worked out in our favor. So if you don't know Axel right here, Axel is our bull. Brutus is our steer. Axel is, um, we actually raised both of them up from calves. Um, they, they were actually our first two calves. If you go back here, I'll share here. I don't remember where it's at. Um, I'll share our pilot vlog when we first got these boys. They were supposed to be cows. They're supposed to be heifers, but we drove two and a half hours to find out that they were actually bulls. And that was my fault, but beginner mistakes. But Axel turned out to be the A2A2 um, bull that we wanted. He's smaller stature. He's got a better condition. He's got he uh, his uh, confirmation is nicer than Brutus's. So we really lucked out on him, and he has been very docile. Can I can I scratch your chin? You can lick my hand. Yes, 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 there you go, that's my good boy, yes. So he, sta he stayed docile, um, which with Jersey Bulls, they get a really bad rap because they're known for switching their attitudes. So we do, we have a hot electric fence. We watch him carefully, we respect him, he is a bull. So we basically made the decision that as long as he remains docile and calm and gentle, he can stay. And we're just gonna, we're just cautious with him. What's up, buddy? Come here. Come here. I gotta put this rope up. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come tell me what you want to tell me. You want to show me something? Well, come here. Come here. What do you gotta show me, buddy? Ooh, it's getting bright. That summer sun, or winter sun, Florida sun, Florida sun. It's not summer yet, but it feels like summer sometimes. Aw, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. Mwah. Thank you. Look at that cute little flower. He can't, he just, oh, it'll focus. Oh, no, no, he's gonna focus on my face. Can I? Look at the cute little flower that he gave me. What, what what did you what did you call these flowers, Leon? Oh. Twilight, Twilight. Well, come tell them. Come tell come tell them what you call them. I don't know the official name for them, but what do you what do you call them? I um actually call them Twilight flowers. You call them Twilight. You used to call them Tinkerbell flowers when you yeah. were little. <laughs> so now, now you call them Twilight flowers. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna keep this. I'm wearing my hair. Can I wear my hair? Maybe I can wear it in my hair. There we go. I got the flowers. Oh, you can't see them under my hair. Can I stick it in my hair? 
You know, it's light enough, it might stick in my hair. Okay. Oh, it won't hook in my hair. If I find any more of those, I'll be sure to bring them to you. Okay, thank you, buddy. I love it. Aw, oh, that's okay. We can still enjoy it. Leon, come here. There we go. Stand right there. Hey, stand right there. Yep, he won't want the he, middle. You're gonna block it. He won't want to go that way. That's not the middle. In the middle of it. There you go. Yep, just flail your arms. The there we go. It's okay, uh -oh. honey. It's okay. All right, flail your arms. Flail your arms. Nope. <laughs> that works. That works. That works. Oh, I'm about to say no. <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, now the easy one. Hold on, Mama. She's like, I want out of this trailer. She comes, she'll get wax. There on, you go, Mama. No, well, we gotta you go this way, go Mama. That way. If she comes, there we back. go. All right, Leon, can you close the close the trailer gate, bud? Can you hold this? Just, just, just set it down. I got my hands full. Yeah, we're taking hers off. We left, so Wellington got his horns removed, and he got castrated. So the deed is done. Um, we gave him something for the pain to help, because we did not want him to feel pain whenever we did it. So we did give him something for the pain to help. Well, we got some rain coming, but we gotta get Mocha and Sophie back in the trailer, get the trailer cleaned out, and get them back home. Hopefully this uh, weekend we will have some baby goats because Mocha's ligaments kind of felt a little soft this morning and last night, so I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the next vlog we'll have baby goats.